My name is Charlie Precourt. Uh, I flew on the space shuttle four times in the mid-90s from 1993 through 1998. The missions were STS-55 on Columbia, and then I flew STS-71 and 84 on Atlantis. Both of those were missions to the Russian space station Mir back when we began the, the missions to uh, exchange astronaut and cosmonaut missions with the Russians. And then a final mission to visit Mir in 1998 on STS-91. Perhaps one of the most um, memorable and most rewarding of the experiences I've had as an astronaut came when we first began to fly with the Russians. And uh, I had had a career in the Air Force flying F-15s and was assigned to Germany uh, at the height of the Cold War when the Iron Curtain was still uh, present, when the Berlin Wall was still up. And my job flying the F-15 was to protect the Western German and NATO territory from the threat of the Soviet Union. We were required to be airborne within five minutes, 24-7, 365 days a year, F-15 aircraft on alert to, to fly to the border should there have been any indication of a threat at the border. And uh, we would frequently, uh, either for training or for a real alert, be, be sent out on these, these flights to the inter-German border. And as was typical of the Cold War, you would see aircraft on the other side, you'd rock wings, never a shot was fired, and uh, we would turn away. And, and, uh, and one of the aircraft that we would encounter was the MiG-23, a Russian fighter that was present in East Germany. And we'd look across the border and we would wonder what their lives were like, who they were, what their families were like, what their aspirations were, what their dreams were, because they lived a mirror image uh, life of ours, but we never could communicate. We were separated totally by the Iron Curtain. Um, fast forward to just a few years, um, and uh, the Berlin Wall comes down, the Soviet Union collapses, Russia now joins on the invitation of us um, in America to be part of, a, of the building of the new International Space Station. And I am uh, appointed to go to the astronaut program and in uh, my very second flight I'm assigned to uh, go do the first docking as the pilot with the Russian space station. And they send us to Moscow to train with the Russian crew. And I am of course very apprehensive because I know that the cosmonauts had similar roles in the military that I had in the Air Force. Uh, and who should I meet uh, but a young Soviet officer, now Russian cosmonaut, who had been in East Germany at the same moment that I was, flying MiG-23s, talking about how he used to see F-15s on the other side of the border. His name is Vasily Tsibliev. And the two of us would be respectively commander of the shuttle and commander of the Russian Mir space station when we would fly together and dock and, and share a moment in space as international crews uh, that once had been Cold War enemies. It was just the most rewarding thing to then have a, a building relationship with Vasily where he eventually became the chief cosmonaut and I the chief astronaut as we worked and together and selected crews to build today's space station. And it truly remains to this point in time one of the most rewarding uh, parts of my career as an astronaut. And on orbit, Vasily uh, actually pulled me aside as a fellow fighter pilots and uh, in the cabin pulled out one of his gloves from a spacewalking mission that he had, a, a glove uh, from the, the spacesuit, and, and signed on the back of it to Charlie in warm memory, all of this in Russian, uh, in warm memory of our meeting together on orbit, and then dated it and signed it. And I have it to this day as a, the most uh, precious and, and cherished gift that I have from my memories as an astronaut.